Good afternoon and welcome to The Developer Show. This is a program where we showcase up and coming developments, talk investments and show you how you can find yourself within this latest development called Delant Estate. My name is Chad and I'll be your host. And today we are joined by none other than Hilandi Mulman, who is the Marketing Manager for England Falkers Potschestrom. Hilandi, thank you so much for taking some time out to join us today. Hi Chad and thanks for the opportunity. We are very excited to join you on your show. It is more than a pleasure. Potchefstroom, I'm sure a lot of people tuning in are going to be reminiscing to their days where they were more carefree running down the, the Potchefstroom strip, enjoying themselves. Yes, definitely. And the great news is um, it's actually still that great living here. So um, they should definitely come and visit or invest in property this side. I think so. I think all these development shows that I'm doing are making me very jealous of where I'm situated. I always thought Santon. Yeah. I've made it, I'm done, I'm, I love where I'm living and I'm talking about people who are located in, on, on the coast, I'm talking to people who are living in Potchefstroom, which is at such a nice place to be. Every time I've visited, I've always loved it. Um, and it's super interesting to talk to you about developments there because I was always under the impression, um, you know, it was, a, it was a, lot of, a lot of beautifully established homes that, that was done and that was kind of it in Potchefstroom. And evidently I was very wrong and the real estate sector or the real estate industry in Potchefstroom is booming. So. Can we start with, give us a brief introduction about yourself, about your team, uh, England Falkers household name. So I'm sure a lot of people are very familiar with you, but let's run through that quickly. And um, just give us a brief on how people can expect dealing with you and what kind of services you guys offer. Yes, definitely. So, um, hi, I'm Yelandi Moorman. I'm the marketing manager at England Falkers in Portestrum. Um, I've been here now with the company for seven years. And Engel and Fulkers Potchefstroom, we celebrated our 15th birthday this year in Potch. So um, we've been in the market um, for a long time now and we, we continuously do market research. We know the market and we are lucky um, in Potchefstroom to have a very, a very sound property market. So um, I think Potchefstroom is a very diverse economy. You know, you, the university, we've got good hospitals, good schools. Um, and then of course the lifestyle, I think a lot of people um, only move to Potch for the lifestyle that you can have. It's close to the city. It's um, easy for commuters. There's a lot of people commuting from Gauteng to Potchefstroom. And then you have this, you know, where you can just go mountain biking and trail running or whatever over the weekends. Um, you don't have to drive 40 minutes or wherever to get to a place where you can start your weekend adventures. So I think they are very lucky um, with the environment that we have. Um, and then England Fulkers, um, we have a project division specializing in projects. So over the um, past 15 years, we've done more than 50 projects successfully or development successfully, um, ranging obviously from student to residential to commercial to estates. And um, with over, I think over 1,300 project units sold through our division. So we really, um, we really, when you're dealing with us regarding developments, we really want to offer developers a one-stop. So from A to Z, so you can literally walk into our office um, and announce that you want to start developing. You might never have developed before. You don't even have land. So we can start to assist you from the, um, the land, the development land, and then also the entire process, the um, market research uh, regarding what should be built on the, the land that you acquired. Should it be commercial? Should it be residential? Should it, should it be to rent? Should you sell it? Um, and then also the product development on the site. So we sit with the developer, we sit with the developer's architect um, and our team, we have a team of over 50 and our agents, I mean, they, they deal with clients day to day. So they know uh, we need more cupboards here, this little corner will be a problem, that door, whatever. And then we, we fine tune the plans up to the point where we really want to minimize the risk for the developer as much as possible. And then when we are happy and the developer is happy that we have a product that we know will sell in the market, like I said, minimizing the risks, um, especially in a competitive market, um, then we, we launch and we go to market and we help market and help sell the development for the developer. So it really is a one stop um, and we take all the admin and stuff out of the developer's hands regarding that. I think it's always great hearing about the experience different, um, different people in the industry have 
with development because everybody's heard the horror stories about developers. So knowing that entering into this development with England Focus, you guys have got the experience, you've done it all, you've seen it all, and you've learned from those different um, those different projects you've done. So you know you're moving into something that's built specifically for its purpose, and, and that is to be a comfortable home that's going to last you forever. So it's really nice knowing that. And I think every single person tuning in always listens out for the previous history or the previous experience on developers. So I'm super glad you touched on that. Yeah. Um, Another I, thing I want to talk yeah. No, I think we also, um, we, we work with a lot of developers. So we also build relationships with them. Um, and we know we can trust them and that they offer great, um, great work um, and great projects. So I think the trust is from, well, from all three sides, the client from us and from the developer side. Well, this development, Deland Estate, could you give us an introduction to that? Yes, um, Deland is a very interesting one. Um, we started with Deland Estate about 11 years ago. Um, Carl Fenter, our MD, um, started the research on Deland Estate. So it's a 30 hectare estate. And at that time, it wasn't even um, in the hands of the current developers. The developer is the Alls Group. So they acquired it in the meantime, and then Coral worked with them. So he soon realized that 30 hectares is a large estate for Port of Strum, and you can't um, just put the same product down in the entire 30 hectare estate. You have to broaden the market. So what an immediate need was at that time and still is retirement accommodation, firstly. Um, you saw that while um, in Port of Strum, all the retirement facilities are full, uh, the way Waiting lists are long, and even in all the surrounding towns, the retirement accommodation was full with long waiting lists. And also, the accommodation available offered a room or a house, but not really a lifestyle. Um, and it's, retirement should be a phase of your life that you enjoy. So we wanted to offer, to address the need for accommodation, but also to offer a lifestyle for that phase of your life. Um, so that's where it started, and then. Now we sit with the 30 hectare estate, five hectares of the 30 hectares um, are for 55 plus, so it's a 55 plus village, a retirement village, and then the other 25 hectares are for all ages. Um, so you can even buy your house in the rest of the land estate, um, still wanting to retire there, but there is the option of the 55 plus village. So now we have a multi-generational estate. Um, for all ages, and I think that makes it really exciting. And um, there's a lot of uh, amenities on offer on the estate as well, um, the care services, the security. So that was the big need, um, an estate. And then secondly, um, security. So as you know, security is getting a bigger issue all the time. Um, and since, as I mentioned, we have a lot of clients moving to Port Strum from Gauteng. So security is, a, is an even bigger issue for them um, than maybe for born and bred Port of Strumers. Um, so we really needed to get excellent security um, if you put down an estate. And we went with the developer and we visited security estates in Gauteng, Pretoria and Joburg. Um, and we talked to their head of security and head of estates and we asked them, what did they learn over the past few years at their estates? What worked? What did they implement? What did they see? Where were there maybe a few gaps that they needed to address? And we learned from them and then we came back and implemented everything here um, at the land estate in order to provide really the best security that Port of Strum has seen up to date. So I think that's the second thing. And then, then the lifestyle that you can enjoy inside that security, obviously. So um, maybe just a brief overview then. So the land estate is this 30 hectare multi-generational estate. Five hectares is then a 55 plus village with five different complexes. Um, there's a restaurant, a care center, and then in the rest of the estate, that's for all ages. Of course, there's then the, the uh, rest one stands where you can build your own full title home. And there are also development stands as well, rest two and rest three stands. So um, ideally then that's for developers. Um, and we have a few complexes um, that we are currently busy with in the Graduate Land State as well. So essentially, it seems like you've catered for every single thing somebody could possibly want within the land estate. You've got all the different, um, I'd say, complexes or, or smaller developments within the land estate, as well as then the retirement development. So, I mean, if, if you're looking to have your parents retire anywhere and you're living in Poch or you want to move to Poch, 
you can have them retire close to you and also within the same security in that, which I'm sure must be incredible. It's such a nice offering to know that your family is going to be super close by considering how tight knit South African families are. And they are still benefiting off the security and all the other things that you put within that estate. Yes, definitely. Um, and I think we really um, aimed, as you said, to include a wide range of um, people in the estate. So if you want just a small lock up and go home, um, smart upmarket, then there's something for you. If you want a large garden with the space for your kids to play, then there's something for you. If you want a retirement option, then there's something for you. So there really is um, something for everyone. And that also, um, once again, minimizes the risk for the developer um, that they, so we, we um, target more markets than just one single market. So if we start looking at prices, if, if we start with the retirement home, what does it, what are the prices there if we just talk about starting from price? So for the retirement um, section for the 55 plus village, as I said, there are five complexes. Now, um, the first one, um, the, the upsell, um, they are currently sold out, but they are being rented. So mostly we sold them to investors and they are being rented. Um, and the rent there is from six, six a month. It is for one bedrooms with a kitchenette, various sizes. Um, and then also an additional 2,800 grand for a, a care package, um, including meals, including food treatment, um, blood pressure measurements, cleaning services, laundry services, etc. So it's a um, relative basic uh, care package. And that's the only uh, development inside the land estate where any sort of care package is actually included. So um, those units we call assisted living units. Um, and then we um, obviously have the care as the assisted, the assistance part. Um, then we have uh, the hook. Now the hook is also in the 55 plus village and their homes, um, they only have, I think about six or seven left and they are from uh, 1.2 to 5 million at the moment. Um, then we have eight span. I think there's only five left as well of the 27 eight span homes, and they are from 2.175 million. Um, all of the of the retirement homes and all the land state actually is pet friendly. We know how important a pet friendly environment is, so they all have um, small private gardens. And then Val Ferdint is the other complex in the 55 plus. We are launching that now. Actually, we launched that a week ago or so. Um, and the, that's larger homes, two and three bedroom homes in Valverdient. We also have a few homes with wine cellars. Um, so I think Valverdient homes, they are from two, uh, 2.385 million. And then Valtafred at the last one in the 55 plus complex. Of the 45 units there, we actually only have uh, five left and a few two bedrooms left. And they are from um, 1.3 million. I think you've put a lot of people in a, in a bit of a pickle here. If, they, if their parents are watching this with them, they're going to say, you know, you know, son, I wouldn't mind a wine cellar in my home right now. Yes, so that's what, not ideal. <laughs> I, I mean, a wine cellar in a retirement home, that speaks to a lot of people. And, and I wanted to say another thing, and that's, it looks like your retirement section is selling out really, really fast. So people who do want to purchase within there need to purchase now. Yes, definitely. And I think we've seen as well um, that um, it's not just the small homes. You need a variety in the 55 plus village. So um, there's a lot of people. I mean, they still want a room for their kids, an extra room when the kids come and visit or when the grandkids come and visit. So um, we really have large options available as well. We have smaller options, kind of a log up and go. Um, and that's the nice thing, I think, of the smaller options as well. The estate itself offers such a nice environment, such a nice outside environment, a community, friends, um, the restaurant. So even if you do um, pick the one bedroom options, um, you have a very much a larger space actually to enjoy your lifestyle in than just the home that you bought. Well, I think this is the perfect segue into looking at what uh, the Orlando State has to offer. So we'll take a short break. And when we come back, I'm very excited to talk to you what you have on offer outside of the 55 plus range. So let's take a quick break and we will be right back.
afternoon and welcome back to the developer show my name is chad and i'll be your host and if you are just tuning in with us you've missed out on a lot so you're gonna have to rewind but i'm joined today by helandi mulman who is the marketing manager for england focus potterstrom and she is presenting to us their latest offering and it is a beautiful offering located in potterstrom called delant estate now, Helandi, we were chatting about the 55 plus retirement village. Can we talk a bit about what's on offer outside of that? Could you give us a run through with what you have? Yes, definitely. So um, maybe just to recap. So it's the 30 hectare estate with only five hectares for 55 plus, um, and then the 25 hectares for all ages. Um, and we really have quite a lot of nice offerings in there. So in phase one, um, that's all the all the residential one res one's full title stands are all sold out um, and then obviously there's a lot of people already living on the land estate um, so you can um, either buy a completed house there or you can buy a stand there are only 12 stands left in phase two um, of the land estate of the 40 stands in phase two so if you are looking for a stand there really aren't a lot of lot of them left so um, you have to jump quickly and then we have the development stands as well so we are currently busy with two uh, developments for all ages in the land state uh, the board and then Moyland, which will be launching launching soon um, now the board is a very nice very upmarket project um, 22 houses and studios and the three bedroom homes are all sold out um, we only have the two bedroom studios left, large spacious studios, 140 squares, um, they go from 1.55 million and we are really excited about them um, as that is the first type of studio that Porch actually has ever seen. So um, the, it reminds me more about something that you'll find in Joburg, in Santon um, and even, you know, like in New York, a very nice uh, light filled spacious studio. So we are excited about that. I think um, that's something that the Poch market will really enjoy. And then um, we have six development stands left in phase two. Now the internal services phase two are being completed at the moment. So if you are a developer and you want to look at a development stand, um, you can buy the stand and go on site early 2021. So really the timeline is ideal there. And the stands we have for developers of from about 6,600 squares that will um, rest two stands up to over 20,000 squares. So um, you can do a small development or a larger development in phase two of the land. And um, as I said, there um, are only the two developments that we are busy with for all ages. So there really is space for getting those sites and putting up a nice development there in the greater land state as well. And the amenities, we've touched on it quite a, well, very briefly in that um, you've got the restaurants available there, you've also got the nursery. Um, could you talk to me more about what is available for residents, maybe not only from, um, say, a, um, a purchasing point of view or, or an eating point of view, but are there clubhouses available and um, the green belts that you have available? Can you talk about that? Yes. So, um, okay, as I said, there's the Diskir restaurant um, and What's nice is that there's the, obviously the restaurant part, but then for, for um, residents of the 55 plus village um, or for the inside lands actually, you can also order meals. So um, very convenient. I mean, you can order your meals for your family and pick it up when you get back from work. So it's super convenient um, and it adds to the entire land lifestyle. Um, then also the, the care center on the land estate is situated in the 55 plus village. Now the care center um, is operated by the Potterstrom Service Center for the Age. They are very well known um, and very well trusted, I think, which is more important even. And they offer the care services at the 55 plus village. Now, what is very interesting about that is that um, the care center is only an eight bed care center. And I think a lot of people hear that and they go like, oh, eight, that's not enough. Um, but the fact is they believe that the care services they offer are best offered inside the comfort of your own home. So anything that they can offer you inside the care center, they can offer you inside your home in the 55 plus village or for that matter in the greater Delante state. Um, and they have nurses and care workers um, that can really offer you everything, as I said, in the comfort of your own home. So they run that um, and they also run great programs, socializing programs, um, 
they, during the entire week, they offer traveling or um, traveling services with a little uh, combi that they have. So everything that you might need, if you do want to retire, they will offer um, trips, holidays. They go on their most amazing trips um, more than once a year. So um, you really buy into an entire new community and friends, etc. But um, there's a library, there's a, a hair salon, um, so a little boardroom, and then the restaurant also has um, conference facilities. So I think it really is a one-stop. And then also, obviously, as the lunch state is for the entire family, there's the, um, the nursery school. So the nursery school opened a year ago, and as I understand it, they are fully booked for next year as well. So um, really, there definitely <laughs> was a big demand for that. I think it's so convenient. I mean, when you go out to work, you drop the little ones at the nursery school and you pick them up and they're at the same state where you are. So once again, it adds to the convenience of the lifestyle. Um, and then the lunch state also has a lot of uh, green areas on offer. So as I said, we, we did a lot of research regarding the security so that you can enjoy the, the lifestyle on offer inside the security. Um, so there's the there's green areas, walkways, there's a boulevard, a tree-lined boulevard when you enter, and with paved walkways, and then there's also a park with um, items for the kids to play on, there's little benches where you can sit and relax, watch the sunset, or watch the kids play. When you, when you go to the lunch estate at four in the afternoon, um, there's this buzz of people, you know, somebody's walking their dog, somebody's cycling, somebody's uh, jogging so there really is a lot of activity and you can see that the people living there are really enjoying the lifestyle that there is an offer there are also communal fruit um, a fruit communal fruit orchard so that's very nice and i mean especially imagine you can go and quickly uh, pick some lemons for your dinner um, or for your salad and then there are herb gardens so you can quickly go and pick a few leaves or something for your salad as well and um, then just the green areas where you can enjoy being outside. I mean, if you look at the, the situation in, in, well, in the entire South Africa and the entire world, you don't want to go outside and go for a walk on your own. But here you can actually do that. So if your kids want to go for a cycle in the afternoon, you don't want to send them into the streets. But now you can. They're going to cycle inside the estate, inside the security of the state. They don't have to worry about cost. There are paved walkways and cycle routes. So um, you can really have that peace of mind and the lifestyle. You know, it's always great to see just how much effort some developers put into their estates. And you can see with what you've to talking about, as well spoken about, sorry, my English has run away from me, what you've spoken about, um, just the thought process you put in, because it's not often you see so much available. And purchasing a house is something I say all the time, purchasing a house, that's a 20 year investment. That's a, that's a 20 year relationship that you've made. And it's so daunting finding a place within a location that you're super happy with and, and very pleased to live possibly the rest of your life there. And seeing what you've done, you know that without a shadow of a doubt, that's going to be the location you'd want to live for 20 years for the rest of your life. I mean, I can only imagine taking a walk through your herb gardens or your fruit orchards on a summer afternoon with a fresh air because you're away from the city you're in Pontchartrain as well. So that super fresh air, that beautiful breeze, it is so relaxing knowing that your kids can go and have a cycle without um, you wondering where they are or do they need to be back after dark. And that leads me to the next question. That is security. We've touched on it a bit. We haven't really went in depth. And that is what security is on offer? So, um, yes, I just want to add and on what you said, um, the ALS group, the developers really um, thought about this a lot and we did a lot of market research with them and they always deliver. So when they, um, when they say they're going to do something, they do it and they do it very well. So I think that really is part of the success of this development um, is the developer actually. The ALS group did a fantastic job and they are still doing a fantastic job. So um, regarding the security, we have 2.7 meter security walls. As I said, we really did a lot of research, um, maybe just to recap. So we visited the security estates um, in Gauteng and we, we learned from them firsthand. I don't want to say from their mistakes, but almost. Um, we learned from them firsthand 
and then we implemented it. So now we have the 2.7 meter high boundary wall, um, the wall has a cavity filled with steel, etc. On top of the wall, there are still additional electrical fencing. Um, we have a really state of the art entrance regarding security um, and access control, um, because I think that's where a lot of the, the security mishaps happen. Um, the access control, but we really have excellent access control at the lunch state, um, especially um, obviously since they are also still construction in progress. So that did a lot of work there. Um, and then um, the camera systems are monitored 24 hours, 24 hour access control. And then also inside the perimeter of the land estate, there is a three meter zone. So it's 2.6 kilometer route inside the perimeter wall. Um, that is there for security reasons. Obviously you can enjoy um, the 2.6 kilometers on your afternoon exercise rounds as well. But the 2.6 kilometer perimeter route is actually um, you know, monitored and um, frequently uh, watched and the cameras are there as well. So that's really um, all the access points to the estate are being monitored all the time. Well, Helene, the next question then is, you've sold me, I want to purchase within Deland Estate. What is the process? So I'd pick up the phone, I'd call England Focus Budget Strip. Um, I'd probably be redirected to one of one of your agents there. What happens? Um, what would the agent tell me? What do I possibly need to have um, in preparation for speaking to one of your agents? And how does it move on for there? Are there show units that I can possibly take a look at? Could you run me through what purchasing within Deland Estate feels like? Yes, definitely. So, um... Actually, very fortunately, we have a very large open day coming up the 6th of November, so Friday, 6th November, from 9 in the morning until 6, an open day of the entire land estate. We have a really large offering, um, show houses for each of the developments on offer, um, obviously as well as the stands and everything, the restaurant will be open, and um, we have OFM radio on site that day as well. The nursery school will be there. So you can really, it's like an open day for everything. You can visit the nursery school, visit the 55 plus village, uh, check out the stands. So our agents will be there the entire day um, to show people around. And, you know, people always want to experience it firsthand. So they, they want to walk through the units. Uh, they want to see all the available units. They want to see how the gardens look. So, of course, if you are an investor and you are only looking to invest, um, you can just contact us directly, England Folkish, and we obviously will then um, help you with all the uh, information that you need or financials, etc., for making the correct investment choice. But if you are the end user, then you want to do um, everything that is on offer. So we have show units at every um, complex inside the Lund State. And then obviously we would love to take you through. And even the open day is a great um, event and we are very excited about that, but we are available, our agents are available 24 seven. So whenever it suits you, you can just contact England Focus. Um, we are very proud to uh, exclusively market the All Scripts developments. And we will anytime take you through the development. It's always, um, it's always nice to go through everything and then stop at the restaurant for a coffee or a lunch and talk about everything that you've viewed. So I think I, I would definitely suggest make an outing of it and visit the entire estate. And we hope that we would see a lot of the viewers actually on the 6th of November. Well, Helandi, that brings me then to our closing question. That is, you've got a relationship with private property and how has that relationship helped you with marketing these different developments? Well, I think this actually is another excellent example. So um, we appreciate the platform, the private property offers, the service, um, the response. Um, it's nice to know who to contact if you have a question. And with private property, we have that. And also to know you will get an answer and you will get it quickly, um, as well as all the marketing exposure on your website as well. And I think this is just an example of going the extra mile because this is an offering, um, the development show that is very unique. Um, um, that we haven't seen before. And I think you saw the, the gap in the market and you offered it to your clients, um, something that we obviously very appreciate since it's an additional above and beyond exposure more than you know, what the agreement actually was. So I think really definitely great service. Well, Helandi, we are definitely here to grow with you. And I'm sure every single person tuning in Definitely enjoyed having this conversation. Deland Estate, what an incredible offering. So I think, guys, 6th of November, pack some snacks, grab the family, take a trip down to Potchester, take a look at the offering there. Go away with Helandi if you see her. But Helandi, 
thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to have this conversation with us. Thanks, Jeff. The pleasure is ours and we really appreciate it. It was great talking to you about the land estate. I enjoyed it as well. For everybody tuning in, thank you so much for taking some time out and also spending this uh, half an hour with us. We will see you again for another episode of The Developer Show next week. Thank you all and goodbye. Ooh.